The Central Bank Governor, Dr. Ernest Addison, appeared before the Public Accounts Committee to answer questions on the foreign exchange receipt earnings for 2017 and 2018. The Governor honored the invitation of the committee after officials of the bank were turned away on Tuesday for not appearing at the committee with the Central Bank Governor. In response to a question on illegal forex trading, Dr. Addison said it had reduced due to proper policy measures. The black market is an illegal activity and the Bank of Ghana has collaborated with the security agencies to ensure that they do not thrive. And we have had a few exercises in different parts of the country, literally going out there to arrest uh, black market traders in foreign exchange. Uh, it is an illegal activity and I believe the security agencies are, you know, on top of that issue. I think the pressure in terms of the prevalence of black market activity has gone down and the reason being that the economy is doing relatively well and uh, there's not a big shortage of foreign exchange, and therefore that incentive for the black market to flourish isn't there. On the question of enforcement for measures to curb the dollarization of the economy, the governor of the central bank responded in this manner. I think that if you look at the stability that we are seeing in the exchange rate, you know, maybe they, they better be indexing on the CPI, which, you know, if you look at where the inflation rate is today at 10.6, that's much higher than indexation to the, to, to the dollar. Governor, am I hearing and you that, say... And that, I think, reduces the incentive for dollarization. When you have a stable currency, you have a stable currency that is not depreciating very fast. You don't have, you know, widespread dollarization because the incentive is not there. On the issue of the banking sector crisis, the governor said the bank is collaborating with the required agencies to bring the perpetrators to book. In terms of the processes, yes, we all wish that it could have been faster, but I think that we are working on it. We are supporting the Attorney General's Department with you know, material to help them prosecute uh, shareholders and directors that are culpable. Regarding the release of mobile money data of subscribers without their consent, Dr. Addison indicated that it was a data protection issue which has nothing to do with the bank. Well, I think it's a data protection issue and we need to understand what the regulations there allow. After the hearings, the chairman of the Public Accounts Committee had this to say. Those few issues that he could not respond to, his lieutenant were there to respond to them. So. Uh, then my impression about the sitting has been good. It has been smooth, you could see it clearly. Even though there are a few issues that uh, they are not able to come forth clearly on how to do. You know, my questions are always tough. And so, but I know why, why those things are. So it will help us to write our report. But my impression is, it's okay, it's good. On the floor of the House, members debated and adopted the report of the Finance Committee on the Budget Performance Report of the Ministry of finance. The Public Accounts Committee today began its hearings after it postponed a meeting with the central bank governor yesterday following um, his non-appearance before the committee. Reporting for City News from Parliament, my name is Duke Mentopoku.